Hi, I'm Otto. I'm part of the 40th cohort of the Data School at the Information Lab. And today I'm going to be talking to you about how to create fake data sets using ChatGPT for your application to the Data School. So for this you're going to need a ChatGPT account to download Python onto your computer and to have a script runner. But don't worry, you won't need any coding skills for this. So let's jump straight into ChatGPT. So I'm imagining for your application you might have a rough idea of the topic you want to do, but you're not really sure what's going to go into that title. So to start out, the first thing I'm going to want you to do is to prompt ChatGPT with who you are and what you want it to do. So I want to do my data set on Harry Potter, but I'm not really exactly sure what the title's going to be. So I'm going to say, give me five ideas to do a data set on Harry Potter. So you can see here now, it's given us lots of great ideas. I really like this second idea about the house comparison. Uh, I think it's really fun. But I'm still a little bit unsure on what's going to be making up those columns going behind this data set. So the next thing I'm going to ask ChatGPT to do is to be a bit more data specific. So I'm going to say, what kind of data needs to go into this? So you can see now that it's given me back the metadata, so exactly what's going into those columns. And now we can see this sort of analysis forming. So we can see we've got the houses, we're going to be comparing them by that metric, but also we've got some data on, on the students, so we can go a little bit deeper and maybe see which are the best students in which houses. We can also see those two metrics of house points and house grades, so we might be able to see some correlations. And we've also got that date, um, data type, so we can see things going on over time. So now from here, it's really simple. You're just going to ask ChatGPT to make you a table from that. So you can see here what ChatGPT is really great at is understanding those Harry Potter terms and putting those into the columns. So both with our names, the house names, and also those lesson names, it's really good at understanding that. In the other columns, we've got some more random fields, so random dates, random scores. Um, and the thing is, is whilst that's great, what would be really good is if we could start getting some more trends following in our data set. So I'm going to be really lazy here. I can't think of any trends that I necessarily want to see off the top of my head. So instead, I'm going to ask ChatGPT, what might be some typical trends that you might see within this data set? So it's given us lots of trends. And I think one of these obvious trends that really stands out to me is this house point and grade point correlation. So obviously, if you're getting a lot of house points, you're also probably going to have quite a good grade. My prompt now is to ask ChatGPT to build up that table again, but implementing all of those trends that we specified before. So in the table that results, we can see that some of those lower performing students with their grades also have lower house points. And similarly, higher performing students in their grades have higher performing house points. And it's even sort of kept in with the themes of the movie as well, which is really cool. The only problem we have left with our data set is that we don't have quite enough rows to do an analysis. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to generate a Python script for this table, but to give me a fixed number of rows so that then I can go later on and edit those number of rows to the number that I want it to be. The last thing to do with this code is to make sure that it's going to save your data set as the file you want it to and also where you want it to save to, so I want it to save onto my desktop. So just asking it to save it as a CSV file to my desktop. If you've installed Python, all that's left to do is open that script up in your script editor edit the number of rows to the number that you want it to be, and then just hit run. And if all goes to plan, you should be able to open up your CSV file from your desktop and have a look at all the new rows that it's managed to generate.
Thanks for watching this video. I hope you now feel more confident with using ChatGPT to create fake datasets. Subscribe to this channel to get notified when we release new videos.